Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Endless Space 2 as the Volters. So, I think it's time to prepare for war, because I'm not going to let the AI have this system right here. If only because I don't want them to have the Adamantian. So, let's gather all our ships and go after that system. We do actually have quite a few. Shouldn't be a big problem, I don't think so. So, merge these. And we'll wait for our fighters. Other than that, there's not much else going on. We still need to find ruins to do the quest for the minor faction. But that's going to be hard, there aren't a whole lot of ruins left to explore around here. We'll just explore any that we can find, I suppose. That's about all we can do. Alright, we got more ships in the production queues. Oh, great. The red guy is now the Sovereign. Well, I'm not too happy about that. But alright. I suppose we could try to gain more influence. Okay, fine. Let's praise them some more. We can always declare war on them and just take them by force. If we really want to. But maybe not yet, we got better things to do at the moment. Alright, back to Bertus. We can probably have two pretty strong fleets. That's what I'm thinking. Let's move over real quick. Research is almost done though, we could go for some military tech. Competitive quest started. Founders Keepers. Be the first to control target system. This one. That's a little bit far away. Yeah, okay. That's not exactly fair. <laughs> we are not going to win that one. I can tell you as much. New event. Call a spaceman a spaceman. Okay. Make a choice. We can ignore it. And we we'll lose 10 morale in every system for 10 turns. But we'll increase scientist political ideology. Or we can lose production and increase religious ideology. We can sacrifice some morale for 10 turns. It should be fine. Some of the systems will be unhappy temporarily, but that's only 10 turns. Also, we can prioritize morale a little bit more. Yeah, infinite supermarkets. And let's see, colonial rights, that will help a little bit. This one is already working on that. Okay, looks good. Just checking the queues. Oh yeah, right, that's a wonder, isn't it? No, that's the unique improvement that can be built once per empire, we definitely want that. Okay, this looks fine. So, let's take a look at our fleets. This should be enough, I think. I mean, it's definitely going to be enough. I can't imagine it wouldn't be. Alright, let's go and get it done. He's going to regret settling this. Colonizing, whatever. I shall defend the faith. Whatever. Aggressive. Damn right, this was pretty damn aggressive. We can level up some systems. Okay then, wait, can we get... Hold on a moment. Right, we haven't unlocked stage 3 of economy and trade just yet. We should really work on that. So, let's work on that, shall we? What can we research that's cheap and still useful? Intergalactic supermarket, that is useful. And that's only one turn to research. Technology stage unlocked, economy and trade 4. Did we just unlock level 3 upgrade before unlocking level 2 upgrade? 
because that sounds a little bit weird. All right. I think that's what happened. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Diplomatic relation changed. That's the minor faction. New event, smoking gun, plus 20 morale in the empire for 10 turns, nice. That's pretty much exactly what we needed. Unfortunately, the objective failed to explore the ruins. There just aren't enough ruins in the area. That's the problem. Not much I can do about that. So oh, let's do this, shall we? The faith, she wants us out. Requires. Well, now, that's not why we came here, I'm just saying. Refuse. I shall defend the faith. What? So now we declare war, I guess. We technically got cold war right now. But we need proper war. This contact is unwelcome. How much is For that going to cost reason, us? 296. Yeah, alright. The actions of demons and infidelity. Here. Now we can attack. What's this? Oh yeah, that's their arc. Okay then. Well, let's see how this goes. We win. And now we can invade. Where's our second fleet? Oh, back here, right. We already destroyed the outpost. So now we colonize. I think we have to wait a few more turns for Argos to be able to colonize for free. It's not an amazing system, but it has free strategic resources, so I definitely want it. You know. Now we unlocked economy and trade 3. So we unlocked economy and trade 4 before unlocking economy and trade 3. That's a little bit funny. And now we can do level 2 development. I never unlocked level 3 development before unlocking level 2 development. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Now, which luxury are we going to use? We can get plus 60 production. Or plus 60 science. We are producing both. Plus 5 per turn on J Donix. I like science, and this will work really nicely with the percentage bonuses, like the ones from our governors. So let's go for science first. Here. We can still get the other one. Plus 15% ship buyout reduction on system, plus 15% construction buyout reduction. That's not terrible. We could go for these two. We'll see, I need to think about that one. But now we can get level 2 system development pretty much everywhere, and we certainly will. So system modernization, let's just quit up everywhere. We should have enough resources to get it everywhere. Like that. We should have done it much earlier, I guess. But that's the thing about this game. There are a lot of tags that you can use. And you can't get them all at the same time, obviously. Okay, I think that's all the systems now. Looks like it. That's a faster way to check. Anything else? Oh yeah, research. So what do we get next? What about some military tech? Unlocking some new battle tactics would be nice. So how about we go for adamantian electroplating? This will also unlock a defensive module that uses adamantian, which we can certainly use. It will take 12 turns, but I think it's worth it. Do we want any really cheap tech? first. Maybe. This one would only take one turn. Might not be a bad idea to grab it real quick. And what else? Botanical scanning. 
Yeah, food is obviously useful, we'll get that. What else? Morale. And colonize snow. We have at least one really nice snow planet. So I suppose we can grab that. Colonize ash. And yeah, approval. That might be necessary. Opens access to luxury and strategic resources on the marketplace. Yeah, we probably want to open access to that. So this will only take 5 turns and we'll get 5 pretty useful techs. What's going on here? A little bit late. Are there any ruins in here? Not that it matters anymore. Subterranean. No, no ruins in here. Alright. We'll check it out anyway. Plus 20 titanium. Plus 10 experience on ships. Increases militarist political ideology. Fine. Now this has already been colonized. Which means we would have to go to war to get that system. One step at a time. For now we are already at war. We should probably just invade them. Where's their closest system? All the way over here. That is a little bit far away. We could also go after pirates. We could go after these pirates over here because we still have a quest in that system. What about colonization? Do we have to wait or can we do it right away? Well, we have to... Wait now. Well, yes, kind of. We can save 1400 dust if we wait two turns. I guess we'll just wait two turns. Bertos is level 2. More population, production is done. Research is done. And latest political survey. Okay, looks good. Carry on then. One more turn. And we got a level up on our hero. Level 8. What do we get next? Morale. That's probably the best option or production. Right, let's get production. Can't go wrong with production. She's on Nalin, so right here. We could move her to Antares. But for now... Nalin is actually fine. We'll finish the queue and maybe then move her. Here's more production. Now we got a food improvement. Definitely useful on new planets. Speaking of new planets, let's see. Colonize the ice planet. Hold on, that will take a little bit too long, perhaps. Let's get some food. Eight turns. How about more production? Because it's a little bit too low right now. What about the assimilated system? We still need more population here, so more food definitely won't hurt. And then dust. We still need to colonize Arcturus. And we definitely should. I might actually pay to colonize this one. We'll see. I just don't want the AI to steal that from under my nose. And they certainly will if we wait too long. We could go for that one first if we really want to. It is a more valuable system than this one. No question about that. Yeah, I think I'll actually grab that one first. We already got Adamantian. We'll just stay here. And guard it. We got Cold War with everyone. So... 
they can't colonize this without getting past our fleet. As long as we leave a fleet here. Okay, sounds like a plan. Off we go then. It won't take very long. We discovered the planet Sikagoja. Oh, that's one of the capital planets, right. Fair enough. More research is done. Now we can colonize arch planets. And also snow planets. Neutron star discovered. New event. Plus 30 science on systems in the Empire, but minus 15 influence for 15 turns. Our influence is a little bit low. Or plus 20 influence, but minus 10 science. I do like science. Let's go for science. We'll just need to work on influence a little bit more. So, we are literally about to finish Oregon History Center. So that will increase our influence gains quite a lot. And then we can still increase them even further. Another level up. So what do we grab? We can get morale. We can get influence. Might be worth it. I think I'd rather get morale. Where is he right now? On Turkana. How's the morale in here? 70%, right, we'll keep him here then. Because that's 70% with 20 being just from the governor alone. And the research queue is done from the looks of it. Okay, so now we unlock luxury and strategic resources on the marketplace. If we'll want to buy any at any point. We can also sell them if we want to. I don't think we need to sell any right now. No. What's the next research going to be? How about science and exploration? We haven't researched anything in here in a while. Unlocking moon exploration would be a good idea. We do have quite a few planets with moons. Also, plus one population slot on sterile planets. We do have a few. Plus 50 science per lunar anomaly and plus 50 dust per lunar anomaly. Yep, let's get that. That's only four turns. Not that much. Oh, there are some ships heading in this direction. Okay, don't tell me this is a colony ship. No, it's an exploration ship. But let's colonize this ASAP. So, literally right now. Which one do we grab first? Preferably not huge gas. Production is a little bit low. We could go with the tiny one. It has lower food, but it has higher production. So that might be a better choice. Also, plus one anomaly slot. I mean, plus one population slot due to a moon anomaly. Okay, let's grab this one first then. We'll spread to the other planets soon anyway. And start from anything cheap. That will do for now. We'll queue up more once this is done. 58%. We can also move a governor here to speed things up. We could definitely do that, yeah. What skills does she have again? Extra production and food. Extra food. Science. We'll miss out on some science by moving her, but we'll speed up the system development. So that's definitely a good idea. Let's move her to Arcturus then. And a sign. And you'll go to Arcturus. Off you go. That will speed things up. Quite significantly. Uh, 
All right then. So is our fleet actually coming here? It should be. Where is it actually? Where are these guys? Oh, they need like half more turn or something like that? Or do they? Are they in orbit? Oh, they are on the wrong system, right. They do need three more turns to get there. Alright. Because remember, we are at war. Objective achieved. Be the first to have three unique star system improvements in your empire. Okay. We got 75 Jadonics. That's a resource we are already generating. Not a super useful reward, but thanks. So, more production. 89% morale. Any strategic resources? Just one. Probably not worth building this. Let's go for dust. Any huge planets in here? Yeah, this one. What's the size here? I'm not seeing it. Oh yeah, it's medium. Okay, no large or huge planet in here. More dust. Right, let's just go for dust. We are actually losing dust at the moment, which is not fantastic. But look at our influence, it improved a lot now that we finished that influence improvement. Where do you think you're going? I don't think so, buddy. We are just going to stay here and guard the system until we can colonize it. Elections will support the scientists. Okay. Research is about to finish, so this will allow us to check for moon anomalies in any systems that actually have moons. One more turn. Competitive quest failed. Well, yeah, we weren't even trying to get that. That system was way too far. We got a new hero available. We could go for the militarist. Militarists are actually the second strongest faction for us right now. So she would become the leader of the militarist party. The Guardian focuses on fleet warfare and industrial production. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure, works for me. So now she's the leader of the militarist political party. Are we going to use her as a governor or as a fleet commander? New objective, defeat the enemy fleets at Trove system and we'll get a random technology. We can definitely do that one. That doesn't even look too bad. But maybe we should get a few more ships first. Pirates in Bertos. Let's go there. You know what we need? We need a support ship in here, or do we have one? We do have one. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, retreat. These pirates are pretty annoying. We could pay them off, but that's 600? You know what? Fine, let's pay them off. I don't have the time to deal with them. We are busy with the war and now we have an event which requires our fleet. Science and Exploration 4 unlocked, so now we can check higher level curiosities. We did have at least one somewhere. This one is still locked. 
Okay, never mind. Anything else anywhere? No? Looks like that's a no. This one is also locked. Where can we unlock them then? Just continue science and exploration research, I suppose. Right here. Yeah, that's what we need. That would take seven turns. A little bit too much, maybe? New modules. These actually aren't bad. Repair fleet after battle. 5%. That would be useful on the Protector. Three turns. Yep, let's grab that one. That's only three turns. Now, how are we going to specialize the hero? We could go for industrial specialization and use her as a governor. We are going to need more production for bigger ships. So, something like this. We only got three points right now. Alright, we'll use her as a governor. And let's check which system has low production. That would be the one. Antares. Okay, we can send her to Antares. Off you go. This one. And also, how about level 3 system development? I don't think we should be using block up mold again because we simply won't have enough. If we want to upgrade all the systems to level 3, then we should use Jadonics and Super Spuds. Here. That's what we'll do. And now we can do it everywhere. Or mostly everywhere. We might still have to get rid of these pirates, but we are on the way. Let's just use this screen, that's going to be faster. Just move it to the top of the queue everywhere. I think we have enough to do it everywhere. I guess we'll find out. No, we do not have enough to do it everywhere. Okay. Let's just do it on the bigger planet then. So, the ones on top of the list. Level 3. Level 3. We can get two more. No, that's all we can do, apparently. Alright, looks reasonable. We'll wait until we get more. Carry on then. He sent a demand. That's the guy to the west. Refuse. Minus 25% influence on the Empire for 10 turns. Really? I guess we'll accept. War declaration unavailable for 10 turns. I wasn't planning to declare war on him anyway. We are kind of busy right now. The Empire will not tolerate we are losing way too much dust right now. Okay, that's better. The Argos is ready, but we'll have to wait to be able to colonize for free. Speaking of dust though, we need more dust. Let's colonize this. Actually first, we'll get all of his production because that's more dust. Should get that everywhere. Which is what we're doing, basically. Printing turns is a little bit too much, perhaps. It's in the queue. Minus 49. We can always disband some ships, because that's mostly what's eating up the money. Looks reasonable. The parries are gone, so we don't have to go back. We need to go back for the portal anyway.
How's morale? 51% is the lowest, okay? Are we working to improve that here? No. 13 turns. Okay, we'll wait. So, where to? We can't really attack the red guys. They lost their system, apparently. They are not doing too well. This Will they pay us for unwelcome. peace or something for like that? What reason do you interrupt our crusade? Well, let's have a look. I mean, we did take their system. Oh, they aren't even willing to go for white peace, really. Well, screw you then. If you don't want to, then we'll just stay at war. Now, how about some morale improvements? That would be nice. Let's have a look. Yeah, this one. Wallabing Foundation, plus 25. Six turns to research. Yeah, we'll need that on at least some of our systems. We can also switch our government if we want to. That will cost us 600. We could switch to... Oh no, 700. Never mind. We can still do it on the next turn. We still got that quest for Origa active. Which is over here. I was thinking about colonizing that. We can consider doing it. That just expired. More production. Dust looks fine. Ish. Maybe cutting it a little bit too close for my taste. Decisive victory. Not that I expected anything else in that situation. Oh, peace. We actually don't need Cold War with everyone anymore. Greetings. Hearing from that you would be is nice. pleasing. Like unexpectedly seeing our reflection. Yeah, make an offer. It will cost us some influence, but I don't Horatio, want Cold War with everyone all at the same time. He does have a few systems nearby, but we can let him keep them. That's fine. Empty construction queue. What should we grab next? How's our income? Yeah, now we are losing money again. That's a little bit too much. Minus 138. I think it's time to disband some of the crappier ships. Like the fighters. Because they are using the old hull, the exploration hull. And while you can upgrade ships, you can't upgrade the hull. As in, I can't change it to a different one. And this is a design from back when I didn't have other hulls. Basically from the start of the game. What do we get here? Some research. Some influence. It's ecstatic, so influence definitely won't hurt. Plus 52 now. It keeps jumping up and down. Now what about this quest? I still want to do that, obviously. We'll just send this fleet. That should be okay. It's reasonably strong. It will take us a few turns to get there, but that's okay. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.